Okay, I want to show you guys today um, how we can take uh, something like this. This, I am not sure what this is. It's made in Hong Kong, and I don't see, I don't remember if this is, oh, okay, never mind. It says on here, it's a Cox. U.S. Army flat car. You know, I love the Army, so. I like these, and I did a little bit of a uh, old wood on the top there, and so I want to make this run on the layout. Now it came with trucks like this, so and you know I love those high cube box cars, and Bachman makes them. I think you find lots of them where they had trucks like this. I think they were Bachmans. For sure, some of them are Bachmans. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, so you see this, and you're like, oh, no. How am I supposed to put new trucks on? Because you end up with a hole. And, and you struggle with how can I put new trucks on here. So I'm going to show you a super easy way. Now, you know that we like to use this silicone hose for drive shafts. Okay, it's one millimeter inside, and I think that is a three wall diameter, something like that. Anyways, it just so happens that this is the magic stuff when it comes to putting on trucks. Now, I picked some, some Tai Chi trucks here. Um, I particularly love these trucks because, well, they're the cheapest roller bearing trucks that I know of. They've got an all plastic wheel set which I also like plastic wheels because, especially these that are all plastic, they don't come out of gauge ever. They can't. They're not movable. What I've been doing lately is I've been spraying wheel sets with this ZEP uh, graphite, spraying the whole thing. And you're like, oh no, graphite's conductive, not this kind. This one is not a conductive graphite. And then when I polish them with a plastic wheel, on my, with a plastic brush on my moto tool, I get this neat, look at that, looks a little bit like steel. You can see a little reflection there, like um, a shiny, you know, you've seen freight carts where they got that shiny rim on them. And I, and I like it. And then when I put it in here, the ends are graphite, and when I polish them, it gives me a super smooth running truck but that's something for later we'll worry about that how do we get them on here what we do is we take the little hose all right let's find a couple guys here okay and we get an end cut off and then we just go ahead and guess what fits right in there I give it a little twist holds all the way in there mm-hmm just like that. Then I take my cutter, go ahead, cut it off. Take my blade here. And remember, it's you use this blade, these chisels upside down, right? So there's the number on it that faces down. And then I just go ahead and I carefully. Haha, <laughs> look what we got now. I got a little socket in there okay a little place to put a screw in now the screw is not going to fit in there right yet so let's just do the other one we'll get this guy oops let's get him in there and because there are these cars and you see them you know you see them at train shows they're in the cheap section you know it's like five for 20 or sometimes you'll see them you know i've seen them as low as as a bin full of ones that are somewhat broken buck a piece and i know when you see those you think you know if i had that on my workbench i could do some something with that i could make that cool but this was the obstacle for a lot of people of why they wouldn't 
be able to make it cool because they would get stuck on this part and they'd try all kinds of things filling it with putty the screw wouldn't stay and you'd have a problem so now now we got the hole and I'm just going to take a blade here and I'm going to just a little bit About like that. Now, I don't want to go too deep because this stuff is pretty flexible. And once you get the screw started, it'll make a nice, it'll make a nice, uh, like a little, a little, uh, it'll be almost like putting a nut in there and I can screw into it. Okay, now all I got to do, now I'm going to put some washers over this to set the height. But now when I set these on here, I drop a screw down in there and they'll be in place. And then we'll have a sweet flat car. I like this flat car. And all I did to this was did some wood effect. Basically, I painted the top parchment. Then I used um, some Citadel, I think it's called Flesh Shade first. And then I put Nullin Oil over the top of it. And I just get this. And it's good enough. Hey, this was like a one hour project. And I'm going to turn out with some decent flat cars. But that's all there is to it. Now I got a place to screw in. Now the trick is going to be when I mount the couplers, I got to get their height set. And this just going straight on there like that. I go on there. I guess I, if, it, if he's on there just like that, it's way too high. So I'm going to have to use the gauge here and I'll put, put some washers in there and flat car there's not a good spot to screw in there and that's kind of a concern because one I'm not super gluing this on there I can't stand that but I am going to goop it on there because you know how I know they're too high because I already gooped them on there once and they're way too high but I'll put some washers set the height and I'm just going to use goop and no matter how heavy I make this, I don't think it's going to be too heavy that's going to pull off. But if I want to pull it off, I can pry it up and there'll be no damage. And in fact, even the coupler cover will still come back open since I'm using snap-on covers. And then we're good to go. So that, I just want to show you that because we're kind of ramping up here doing some, doing some freight cars this week and some other stuff. And and kind of getting some things together because we want to do a bit of operating and we need to get some of our cool freight cars out and do that and these army flat cars are i, I really like these they just turned out excellent all right so let's get back to work